proud uh, to say that I represent the 52nd Assembly District, which includes the great city of Compton. Earlier this week, it was brought to my attention that a number of UC San Diego students and members of various Greek uh, fratern fraternal organizations, including Pi Kappa Alpha held an off-campus event called the Compton Cookout uh, that encouraged participants to mock Black History Month by promoting negative and offensive racial, racial and gender stereotypes. The invitation to the event posted on Facebook and quickly circulated throughout the internet contained about every inflammatory, derogatory, racist, and negative stereotype of African Americans that I can think of. Male guests were asked to quote, and I quote, they were asked to uh, wear jerseys, wear extra baggy sportswear, high top sneakers, chains, and tattoos. Female guests were asked to dress like a ghetto chick, which meant, and I quote, have gold teeth, start fights, wear cheap clothes, have short, nappy hair, and of course, usually wears cheap weaves. These ghetto checks were instructed to grunt, smack their lips, and make up words, or just swear a lot because, as they say, and I quote, ghetto chicks have very limited vocabulary. To top off this evening of racism and sexism, the Compton Cookout boasted a menu that includes, and I quote, Kool-Aid, chicken, and of course, watermelon. My staff have copies of the full invitation text, and it will be posted on my website later today along with the news conference for your reference. In the days since this event took place, my constituents, people throughout California and across this nation, have contacted me sharing their outrage that here we are in 2010 during Black History Month, college educated individuals at one of the finest public universities in California could be responsible for such a blatant and harmful act of racism, sexism, and hate. These acts of racism and sexism will not be tolerated in California or anywhere in the United States of America. And I stand today united with fellow legislative leaders in publicly, in publicly condemning those responsible for the act, for these acts of hate, and condemning and demanding full accountability for their actions. Now, I'm a child of two parents who grew up in the segregated South parents who moved to California to raise their children in public schools that would allow them to honor their history, where they would be respected among their peers and where they could learn in an environment that fostered diversity. As a young black boy born and raised in a community, rebuilding from the Watts riots, I saw every single day the struggles that my family and that millions of other Californians face in bridging a racially divided past. We have made great strides in this state and in our nation to heal the racial scars of our past. Minorities and women lead Fortune 500 companies and hold the highest office in the land in Barry and right here in our own state capitol. Yet, events such as this remind us that we must all continue to be vigilant. We must all continue to stand. We must all continue to speak out each and every time an act of racism or bigotry rears its ugly head. We must continue to shine a light for all to see that we will not accept hate in our public schools, we will not accept hate in our public universities, and we will not accept hate here in our state. The actions of these individuals are unacceptable, it is racist, it is wrong, and we stand here today to tell all Californians that we will not put up with it. Today, I call upon UC San Diego Chancellor Mary Ann Fox, uh, UC President Mike Mark Udolph, and UC Board of Regents to launch an immediate and thorough investigation of the Compton Cookout event to determine the names of those responsible for planning and participating in this act of racism and sexism, what university affiliated organization participated in the event, and what, if any, public funds or resources were used to plan or carry out this event. At the conclusion of the investigation, university officials should act swiftly to sanction all responsible parties, including the revocation of fraternity or for sorority charters, the full repayment uh, of any public funds used to support those organizations, 
and the individual suspension or expulsion of any student found responsible for participating in this act of hate. I don't want these organizations to merely apologize for their actions. I want names. I want these individuals and the organization to understand that these types of racist and sexist behavior would not be tolerated here in California. State taxpayers will not and should not stand for their money to be spent supporting any organization that fosters racism, hate, and intolerance. The legislator will closely, and I, and I say again, the legislator, legislator will closely monitor the university's actions and if necessary will act with its budgetary and oversight capacity to ensure that public funds do not finance racism or sexism in California.